My name is Dr. Leo Chadoyo. I'm the medical superintendent at the Sierra County Referral Hospital. We received a total of 26 patients in this hospital with varying degrees of injury. Uh, there are a few others scattered in various facilities in Inuka and Inyala with minor injuries. Uh, here we are dealing with the most severe injuries. Unfortunately, so far as has been mentioned, by Moshimiwa, we lost two of these patients. Uh, our team is working very hard to provide the best possible care uh, as the government as per the government protocols we have a very robust referral system which shall ensure that patients who need specialized care are quickly referred to the next levels um, our appeal is for well-wishers and others and uh, to step in wherever they can wherever appeals are made to support the care for these patients. And uh, other than that, we are grateful. We are grateful for your visit today, uh, for giving, for keeping the spirits of our people up as they battle with this condition. There's just one who tested positive for COVID. So as you know very well, we are in the middle of, uh, we are towards the tail end of the third wave of this uh, COVID surge in the country. And that one has been referred to our isolation unit. So they are being managed for burns and COVID at the same time. But they are, they are stable. As far as COVID, they are stable. The bans are the more urgent uh, issue. In terms of percentage bans, uh, varying degrees, we may not want to share much, but uh, quite a number of them have uh, more than 50% bans, which is not good, which uh, is a challenge to the prognosis. But uh, we want to keep their hopes up and we want to keep give them a fighting chance. We have witnessed horrible scenes in the hospital wards. Uh, more than uh, the 20 or so patients who are here have more than 50% bands. Some of them very deep bands. And I really wish to thank the press for bearing up with the medical staff here uh, because I think for the integ integrity of the patients, uh, any, any live pictures of the status of these patients would have compromised their integrity and also may interfere with the emotions and sympathies of families. But I must say, I've seen many, many, many tragedies, uh, deaths and horrible scenes. Uh, this one uh, goes beyond uh, comparison and the sheer spirit of the human will to fight and survive is being exemplified by the many patients we have seen here. I, I wish to commend the medical personnel here who are uh, dedicated to saving the lives uh, of this, uh, our, uh, our mothers, our brothers, our fathers uh, and daughters from Sierra. Uh, it had no discrimination. We have even uh, one lady who is uh, expecting, uh, and also I think one of two who have tested positive to, to COVID-19. So the medical personnel here are dealing with a very, very complicated circumstances. And I hope and wish that um, the national government can make some interventions uh, because the, there's a lack of capacity, although the medical personnel here are doing as much as they could. But I think at some level, uh, they may require um, additional interventions. Uh, some may even require evacuation to uh, uh, better facilities. I'm not saying better because they're not doing the best that they could here, uh, but uh, those interventions are going to be extremely necessary. We have, with the cooperation of the doctor in charge and the sisters who have shown us around, um, going to profile the patients that we have here so that uh, we can identify and know them. And uh, together with my colleague, uh, Moshimo Elisho Diambo, uh, look uh, for other assistance that we may be able to generate. Uh, but absolutely families are 
suffering, the patients here uh, are suffering, the people they have left back home uh, are suffering. But I wish to appeal to our community that this is not the first time that it has happened along the same road, five kilometers away from this incident uh, in near Sidindi. There was a similar uh, occurrence some years ago where nearly 80 people lost their lives. And again, in the same locality, this has happened. So uh, I'm appealing to our people, please keep away uh, from some of these vehicles which carry uh, petroleum uh, products, uh, uh, others which may not be petroleum products, they may be toxic uh, and not good for the health uh, and well-being of our citizens. Uh, it's about the minute of roads, uh, Kenha. Yeah, I mean, there, there are not enough signage in, on our roads. And where there are bumps, uh, a lot of them are not marked. And uh, we, we also need uh, some rumble uh, bumps, you know, uh, small rumbles, uh, rumble strips as you approach a bump. Uh, so that vehicles can be able to slow down. Uh, because a lot of things, these uh, accidents, if you look at them, uh, this one and the one happened in Sidindi, uh, if there were bumps at the right place, which are clearly marked, and then rumble strips, uh, maybe we can avoid a lot of these uh, uh, tragedies. It's my belief, uh, trust in God, that we'll get majority of them out of... Uh, of the difficult moments. Uh, we have seen a lady who is pregnant in a very difficult moment. I hope that the hospital will be able to help in saving both the life of the mother and the life of the child. Uh, we are in discussion with the national government, had a discussion the the district commissioner game, uh, sub-county, game sub-county, game yala, and the government is going to give those families that have gone through the tragedy, at least 50,000 each uh, in the meantime. So I thank the national government for what they have done. But I'm appealing to the Minister for Health that there's much he can do and help us, as both as a hospital and as the people of game, because we are, we are the one who have bore the brunt of uh, the tragedy. Equally, I'm appealing to petroleum companies it could be a mistake, but with their CSR, they can be able to come forward so that the conditions of those suffering, we can be able to ameliorate and ensure that they can survive this tragedy. And I think what behoves all of us is to create an awareness of issues related with uh, petroleum products. And uh, it's important that we tell our loved ones how it's very risky. Uh, I also appeal, uh, like I did yesterday, to the president to come out and help his citizens. These are his citizens, the game constituents who are suffering. Uh, I talked to Baba yesterday, and he said you'll have one-on-one -on -one, uh, so that our people can be assisted. We have uh, the issue of uh, identification of bodies. The government has moved swiftly fast so that we get uh, pathology so that this the bodies, the bones that remains, we can be able to identify. We have 13 bodies. Dr. Leach has just mentioned two passed on here, so we have 15. Uh, the two plus one in Yala can be identified, but the rest cannot be identified. So it will have to be done by, by uh, a pathologist uh, so that this issue is resolved. I appeal for a lot of patience for the families who have gone through this tragedy and to wait on us as deliberations are being done. Tomorrow, I've called for a meeting with the families in Mutumbu in the afternoon for those who bore the brunt of this tragedy so that I can see in my own personal capacity in what way I can assist. And uh, they'll also be taken through the process of what the government uh, would do. I thank Red Cross for their response yesterday. They are still outside. They are profiling uh, the, 
those who lost their loved ones, those who have not been seen, so that we will be able to, on affirmative, say that is, these are the number of people who have, we have not seen, who have disappeared, and who have died.